today's video, I'm going to demonstrate stitch length and stitch width so you get to understand how you know what stitch width and stitch length you need on your machine for your sewing. Now, typically, when I'm sewing, I will have a straight stitch and work on around two to three um, millimeters. Now, these are in millimeters and I keep the zigzag on zero. Now, if I'm on a straight stitch, keeping the zigzag to a zero or all the way at five shouldn't make a difference. I will have a straight stitch. Now, what happens is when I stitch on a zigzag, so turn the selection to a zigzag, inside the machine, there's an alteration that will allow now for the needle to swing left and right. So, let's set the machine to a zigzag. Let's set the width to a zero. I'm going to start with a zero stitch. Now, I might as well tell you now, a zero stitch means the feed dogs are not going to move at all. Now, if I sew here, you can see the fabric's not moving at all. So if I keep the stitch here, the fabric isn't gonna move, but if I go for a full width now on the machine, so I've got all the way to five, watch what happens. I'm gonna to need to move this over. So all I've done with a stitch, straight stitch, is sew a dot. If you want just a bar tack, you know, at the top of a pocket, or um, if you perhaps sew in a button, you need to just sew left and right. So what we can do is, it's quite ingenious, is place the zigzag all the way at five, leave the zero on the length. So we're not coming forward anywhere, but we're going to just stitch left and right. Make sure you bring the hook to the top when you release the fabric. And let's cut away the stitch. And you can see we've created a bar tack. Now, if I grab a ruler and measure that distance, that's exactly five millimeters wide. So my zigzag that I've created is five millimeters wide. So that five represents millimeters. That's five millimeters wide. So if you want to alter your stitch to a shorter width, that's what you're going to uh, adjust there. Now we're going to create a zigzag using a one. Let's, we're gonna to go to one and one. So we're going to get a decent sort of stitching. Let's sew on that. Bring that all the way up. Okay, so you can see now my stitch is one millimeter wide. The swing is only going across one millimeter, but the distance between each stitch is one millimeter as well. We're gonna go two millimeters wide. I'm gonna go across two, just so you can see what's going on a little bit better. Remember to get that hook to the top, bring the hand wheel towards you so you can release that fabric really easily. All right, let's check that again. So between that stitch and the second stitch that the machine's performed, that needs to be two millimeters. And you can see indeed it is. It's two millimeters from that stitch to the next one, it's two millimeters. Is it two millimeters between the width of that stitch to that stitch? And again, it is. This machine's very accurate. I'm very pleased with it. I'm gonna try, leave it on two, and we're gonna go three millimeters wide. Hook to the top. Let's release that fabric. We'll measure that again. So the distance between the two stitches 
We'll start from there so you can see it better, is three millimeters. The height, the length should still be um, two because we're only moving two millimeters forward, the length. So we're coming two millimeters forward between each stitch and that hasn't changed. Let's do three and we're gonna go up four. So that's gonna be three millimeters coming forward between each stitch and we're gonna go four across wide. Oops, so we come off the fabric. Try not to come off the fabric on these machines. Some machines you can, but this machine doesn't like it. It tends to get a bit um, stuck. The thread gets stuck in there. If it does on your machine, just tw twirl the hand wheel a little bit and release that stitch that it started to form. Okay, so four wide, let's check that. Four millimeters across brilliant exactly four and we want to be three down and it is it's three length brilliant let's do this again we're gonna go all the way to five on the machine and we're gonna go for the widest let beg your pardon we're gonna go for the longest length so we're going five wide four long Now, did you see how that whizzed through the machine really fast? So we're going to be four between that stitch and that stitch. So they're the first stitch, second stitch, start of the second stitch. So we want four millimeters, which it is. So go across, so start four there, start anywhere along there and it will be four, whoops. So start on the four and you can see and then we want to make sure that's through uh, five across and it'll be easy to see if we stay with five across and we go on a very low stitch okay now what i'm going to show you see this is for buttonholes but it's also telling me it's for satin stitch the stitches are going to be extremely close together just like you would use on a buttonhole okay so we want it to be really tight together. We're gonna to stay with five and you're going to use a satin stitch on things like badges around a badge that you might make. I'm gonna stop there, just bring that hook back to the top and we can look how easy that fabric's released. And look at that beautiful satin stitch that we've created on this machine. I can bring that even tighter. I'm gonna go even closer i can't go all the way to zero because can you see they've left a gap there telling me that's not going to happen so you'll see the machine goes even slower because it's only it's on less than one millimeter um per stitch but we're going all the way across as well release that hook all the way to the top so we can take away our fabric and look at that that's a satin stitch you can probably go even tighter if you want to and you can create patterns just reducing the width to the top and you can use your imagination to create designs it's a little bit of a funny one that one but try that and go ahead and have a little play if you need a guide what you can do is you can start stitching with a zero length okay so uh, zero length gave us a dot and the zero um, and the maximum width 
gave us just a bar tack. So you can put those in with the stitch length of one. This is what we got, stitch length of two, stitch length of three, stitch length of four. Then, because that was the maximum length we've got, we've went back to one with a zigzag of one, zigzag of two, zigzag of three millimeters, zigzag of four millimeters, zigzag of five, and then we were keeping on the five and bringing the stitches to collect together. So the length was reduced. You can make yourself a chart like this to help you if you need to. So I'm gonna mark mine up now that I've made one. For this one, length is four, width is one, length, uh, length is four, width, is two we've kept the length at four again and the width here is three we've kept the length at four and the width is five now I'm not sure what I did here so I can work that out very very easily I can look at the width of my stitch and I can see if I draw it in just so you can see this you probably won't want to draw on your own fabric okay so you can see there so you can see there drawing the lines in the stitch is five millimeters across so I know that width is five And the length, well, let's have a look at the length. So the length is going to be between that stitch there and the next one there. So from there to there. And that is, let's start on the line, you can see four. So you can see it's four millimeters. Okay. And we can do that again with this one. So let's have a look. All the lines in, you can see it better. So we have a width of five millimeters and the distance between each stitch is, well, there's the first stitch we're going to measure and we're going to measure it to that one there. Okay. And that gives us one, two. Width is five. Five and the length is two. And the width on here is going to be five and the length is less than one. Less than one. All right, so I've got my little chart now. So the length is one, length is two, and the width on all of these, because there's no zigzag, the width is always zero. When I change the width to one, so I've got the width is one and the length we measured was four. So the distance between one stitch and the next stitch is four. So we have length is four, width two, length four, width three, length four, width five. We measured here, the width is five, length is four, width is five, length is four, Width is five, length is less than one. So you can make yourself a chart, help yourself out. Once you've done that, get creative and make some designs for yourself. See what works really nice for you and have fun. Do comment below, let me know how you get on. If you enjoyed this exercise, let me know. I'll make some more exercises for you so that you can learn loads more about your wonderful sewing machine. Take care and see you soon.